Ronnie Stanford here. We just finished a workshop today. I'm with DB Integrations and uh, here with John Ballinger from Panasonic. Um, we've talked a lot today about how to use cameras mm -hmm. and cameras in use and proper lighting and that kind of stuff. But what we've got here, John, is, uh, is a video switcher that a church or a production studio might use. Tell us a little bit about this and what makes this switcher unique. Okay. Well, this is the HS6000 2 ME switcher. A switcher like this is, is pretty nice to have because a lot of churches now are doing multiple productions uh, right. on a Sunday. Right. So they not only have their uh, their iMag that they do in the worship center for their projectors, mm -hmm. but they also have an, another audience online or, or they may broadcast it to a local right. TV station. Right. And so they're, they're using all the same cameras, but it's two separate uh, productions, different graphics. And so a switcher like this is very good to have because it's like two switchers in one. Right. So when I say a two me switcher, ME1 is a switcher and ME2 is a, is a switcher. Okay. And so a customer can dedicate ME1 for your iMag and ME2 for your production. So, all right, so I'm in, I'm in the production room and I'm working in a church and right now we, we do iMag, mm -hmm. all right? But we also want to start doing a live stream. Right. Why would I need to have two different feeds? What's going to be different about what's going to screen versus what I'm going to show to the online audience? Well, the, on the, in, the, in the sanctuary, you're going to put up um, lyrics and do a lower third lyrics. And you know, if it's a large church, they want to be able to see the pastor or different people in the, on the praise band. Right. And right. they want to see close-ups because they're, they're far away. Um, the, um, and then they're just going to see worship lyrics. Right. On the on the uh, online audience, they want they're going to see completely different. They're going to be more shots because they want to be able to see what's going on in the church. Right. So it's right. going to be a mix of people in the sanctuary, uh, crowd uh, crowd shots, crowd shots, uh, you know, cutaways, uh, probably more shots in the in the praise band. Right. And, and then of course the pastor. Okay. And so it's a completely different mix that you would not necessarily need in the in the sanctuary. Absolutely. And, and there's going to be times where I might put a graphic. Pastor may have a um, a PowerPoint slide or a graphic he wants to put up in reference to the sermon. Right. Okay. And I don't need my online audience watching that thing for. 30 seconds. Right. Right. And I may leave it up on the screen in the sanctuary for 30 seconds, but right. I don't want everybody online to see that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. So let's talk a little bit about functionality here. Okay. Um, so, how, how am I? How am I switching this? What relationship does this multi-view camera, what, this multi-view screen? How does this okay. help me? And how am I going to operate well, this? Well, first of all, if you're going to be doing two productions, we're using. Uh, you're splitting the Emmys, a lot of people are going to get a second panel. And so that way, uh, your online person has his own panel. Oh, I see, okay. And your production guy has his own panel. Okay. Uh, we also have a, uh, a free software download that you can load on a PC that acts as another virtual panel. I see. Which is pretty so cool. I can have this panel, mm -hmm. I can have a remote panel, and or I can have a software package just running it as a GUI interface this basically gives me this gives me the same functionality. Right. Okay. Excellent. So if I'm a if I'm a production guy, then I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use uh, you know one of the MEs, and I, I have uh, uh, I have um, uh, four keyers that I can do uh, transpose graphics or okay. sermon notes or uh, references, and so um, and then if I'm uh, your iMac guy. Then I have the same capability. Okay. And also for the iMag uh, uh, director, uh, usually a church is going to have a screen left and screen right mm. for your iMag screens. Okay. Center screen is always going to be just for lyrics. You don't okay. want uh, iMag on the center screen. Okay. Uh, but uh, I also have 16 aux uh, auxes on the switcher. Oh wow! So all my outputs uh, can are com completely configurable. I can change those to a preview program or an aux. And the reason I'd want to use those auxes is because I can assign screen left to an aux and screen right to an aux. Oh, wow. I can even assign the center screen to an aux. Okay. That way I can I can route whatever signal I want to to those screens without interfering with my production. Perfect. So can I operate this um, with the uh, with the T bar or without the T bar, or is this the only way for me to do it? How, no, no, how am I, I can, can make a you transition. Can, you here? can do you can do either. So I have a, each ME has an auto uh, transition in a in a cut 
uh, button. Okay. And um, the auto transition is set toward toward a, a predetermined transition rate okay. that you can that can set up in the menu. All right, and that could be a dissolve. It could be a, a wipe. Okay. Not, not that those are actually used right, that much right. anymore, but I, there's a, lots of different effects I can use. Yes, on that. Okay. and you can be they can be 3D effects. It can be like a page turn, which you wouldn't, wouldn't typically use in this venue, but wow. but it is available. Yep. I still see those used occasionally. All right, so I can use the T-bar if I need to. Yes. All right. You can do it. So there would be a, uh, a manual dissolve. Okay. Uh, let me see if we can set up a. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. And so I can do that as, as slow as I want with the T-bar. And then that way you can kind of go with the mood of the, uh, um, of the moment. Okay. Yeah, kind of what Michael was talking about earlier today. Exactly. All right. Outstanding. And uh, I also have, uh, this is pretty cool, but I have uh, a built-in four-channel still store and a four-channel clip store. Explain what a still store and a, and a clip store is. Okay, so still store is just a, a still image. So maybe your church logo okay. that you can uh, throw up there uh, before the before the church service starts as people are coming in. Okay, any kind of a still, a JPEG, any kind of a still exactly. store, I can put it up there. Exactly. So I've got some photos that I might want to use from just as a walk-in look. I right. can throw those up there just because it's kind of a throwaway, right? Absolutely. All right, and then a clip store. A clip store is a, you know, is a moving, is video, is moving okay. video. So and that could be anything from a video camera shot mm -hmm. to an animation. Exactly. Okay. And most people use those uh, for animations for background shots, or they can you can actually time it as a transition as well, which is ah, pretty cool. Oh, okay. That's and very I, cool. How, what's my time limit on these clip stores? Each uh, each clip is uh, is sixty seconds. Okay. And so um, usually uh, you know a bumper ad is is thirty to sixty seconds. So I see. Okay. So if I'm going to use a bumper that that throws to uh, from a worship set to the teaching, mm -hmm. if I got a bumper in the middle of that, then that bumper can be stored right exactly. here. Exactly. So if I have a series and I'm going to use a bumper as the intro for this mm -hmm. series for the next six weeks, I just store it on this and I load it right from this, yeah, from the switch. Absolutely correct. Okay. Now, is that available for the smaller switches, like a 410, for example? The 410 does have a, a built-in uh, clip store and a still store. Okay. So you can do that as well with a, with a 410. All right. So when we're talking about this technology that Panasonic has. Is there any difference between this ME, this um, this ME of this switcher right here, and say a 410 that's a single ME switcher? Uh, no. The, it's, they both accomplish the same thing. Okay. Uh, Probably the biggest difference between this swi this switcher and the 410 is this switcher is also capable of doing 3G, and uh, the, and the uh, 410 is only uh, is only uh, up to 1080i. Okay. So, uh, this, the, actually, this switcher would be good if, if a church would like to be 4K ready. Mm -hmm. uh, then this switcher can grow with them because it can do one and a half G, 3G, and up to 4K. Ah, uh, okay. Well, and so the, the thing I, I think is important about this is, is that this is scalable technology, mm -hmm. 6,000 switcher, fantastic, and it's the right switcher for the right application. But if I love the technology, I just, just don't need this many inputs, as you were saying, how many inputs and outputs this has and how many aux buses, right. but I want to use this technology than the 410 switcher, and even smaller switcher, I'm using the similar technology. Mm -hmm. It's just less features. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Outstanding. Well, John, hey, man, I appreciate it. It's been a good day. Thanks for coming out today. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thanks for